Hi friends! Today we're going to learn about an artist and his name is Chris Uphughes. Chris Uphughes lives and works in Brooklyn, New York um, and he originally was from Chicago, Illinois where he was practicing and living for a good amount of his life. He is what we call a street artist. So this means that he paints and draws on the streets, on windows, and walls on the street. He is most known for his huge mural paintings of heart faces and other uplifting things like flowers and rainbows. Each of his characters are accompanied with a smiley face or silly faces and grins. Here are some images of him working, as well as some of his finished projects. So that's basically it. He just wanted to pick something that would make other people happy and himself happy. Not only does he paint on walls and windows, but he's also got an entire website that is dedicated to putting these hearts on everything from clothing to stickers. All right, let's get started. What you need, you need a piece of paper, a pencil, the sheet that has all the character faces on it, and also a black marker or crayon or a color pencil, whatever you have at home that you've been outlining with. Could you guess what we're going to make? Yep, we're going to make a big heart. So the first thing you're going to do is put one little hump and then another little hump. And then we're going to connect these two lines on a diagonal line. Make your heart almost as big as your paper. Now, you're going to go ahead and you're going to choose a face from that, that sheet that I have attached to this assignment. There's so many different eyes and mouths on this. You can go ahead and choose whichever ones you want or make one up yourself. I know a lot of you guys are really good at these types of eyes. Choose something that's happy because that's the whole point of Chris Uphughes artwork. Okay, now I'm going to choose a mouth and I'm going to draw that out. And then now I'm just going to fill my background with things that make me happy, like rainbows and flowers. So I'm going to add um, some rainbows and flowers into my background. You can put anything that you want that makes you happy. I would add a rainbow or two, just because that's kind of what the artist does behind his. But you're, you can add anything that you'd like. Okay, from here I'm going to outline and color in all the things that I need to have black. So I'm going to outline my whole entire picture. And I'm going to color in the eyes and the nose, um, if you're putting a nose or mouth on, my, on your character. You're going to also outline everything that you put into the background. Now this could be a Sharpie or this could be a black marker, a black pen, a black crayon, a black colored pencil. If you don't have any of those, just press really hard on your pencil so that you don't lose the... Um, the image. All right, now comes the fun part. You get to color this baby in. You can use anything that you have to color at home. I'm going to use markers just because they're nice and bright, and Chris Uphughes' artwork is pretty bright. But you can use crayons, you can use paint, you can use anything that you have at home that you, ha you can color in with. Okay, so just like we've been doing, I'd like you to please take a picture of this and upload it to the Google Classroom so I can see your beautiful work. Please stay tuned if you'd like to hear a nice read aloud story. In My Heart, A Book of Feelings by Joe Wittick and illustrated by Christine Lucy. My heart is full of feelings, big feelings and small feelings, loud feelings and quiet feelings, quick feelings and slow feelings. My heart is like a house with all of these feelings inside. Sometimes my heart feels like a big yellow star, shiny and bright. I smile from ear to ear and twirl around so fast I feel as if I could take off into the sky. This is when my heart is happy.
Other times, my heart feels strong. I stand up tall as if I could touch the clouds. New people and places don't frighten me. I can do it. Watch me go. This is when my heart is brave. When I get really angry, my heart feels as if it's going to explode. Don't come near me. My heart is yelling hot and loud. This is when my heart is mad. But other times, my heart is cool. I bob along gently like a balloon on a string. My heart feels lazy and slow, as quiet as snowfall. This is when my heart is calm. On harder days means mean words hurt my feelings, and my heart feels hurt too. It's fragile and delicate, but it can be healed with extra kisses. This is when my heart is broken. Some days my heart feels as heavy as an elephant. There's a dark cloud over my head and tears fall like rain. This is when my heart is sad. But my heart doesn't stay sad. Like springtime after winter, the sun comes out again. My heart grows tall like a plant reaching towards the sky. This is when my heart is hopeful. Eek! When I see something scary, my heart beats fast. I feel cold as if a chilly breeze has crawled up my neck, and I run away as fast as I can. This is when my heart is afraid. When it's time for a bit of fun, my heart feels full of giggles and wiggles. Abracadabra! I hop around like a bun bouncy bunny. This is when my heart is silly. Sometimes I hide my heart away where no one else can see, like my own small treasure. I don't want anyone to look at me. Safe on my swing, I can watch the world from up above. This is when my heart is shy. My heart can feel so many feelings, and yours can too. Today, my heart is proud. How does yours feel? The end. I hope you enjoyed that story as much as I did, and I hope you have a great weekend and an awesome week ahead.